What's going on everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Harris and today I'm doing something I haven't done since we started this channel and since then I have moved so I do have a new room and as you can see in the title of course the the video is about my uh, new room so it's a room tour video and uh, basically I do want to say before we start out uh, this is technically a temporary room. Uh, I will be at some point switching which room I'm in and also the tables that I'm using and stuff like that. So, you know, I do apologize if some things looks like, you know, I'm using that you wouldn't normally use, but for now it'll have to do until I get my permanent setup. But without further ado, let's get go ahead and get right into this. Here, uh, as you can see, this is the. Ooh, let's spin around here. This is the door entrance here, right to the left of that. When you walk in, it's just a bunch of storage. This is not my area. I don't use this. This is just a storage that we use to uh, kind of just put random stuff over there. The tripod that I normally use when recording videos is a Sun Pack. Let's see here. We've got it right there. Let's see if we can get that focus. There we go. Sun Pack. Ultra 7000 TM and with the Velbon uh, fluid head. Let's focus. There we go. So that's what we normally use, and I'll show you guys the camera that we're using in just a little bit. Uh, but basically, actually, you know what? I'll just show you right now. It's the 70D from Canon with a zoom one H1 mic and a uh, newer light. All right, so after that, going over here, I do have my poster that I was given by my uh, wife for, I believe, either my birthday or Christmas. I can't really remember. And then below that, I have some of my DVDs. They're not in any particular order. They're just the ones I've recently watched or in, in over time since I've been in this room. Uh, so I decided to put them on the shelf. And there's just some of them, not too many here. Some anime, some other movies, stuff like that. So that's there. This is a sharp TV, 50 inch TV, I believe 120 hertz, and I'll, I'll put everything I possibly can in the description. But basically, it, it does what I needed to do. I mainly use it for Xbox One, PS3, and stuff like that. The table here that you see it on is actually a writing table that was given to me by Dollybor, uh, one of the other, those three guys. And uh, it works out really well as a TV stand. And the drawer, let's see here fits all the controllers for the systems very nicely some games in here not all of them uh, obviously and then the remote control for the TV and my uh, Zigma which I've used a little bit but not too much and then I kind of got a makeshift shelf down here for the Xbox one and the ps3 for now because it is a temporary view or temporary room so to the right here all right let's see if we can fix the lighting a little bit on this we have more of my DVDs, so there's still some of them are still packed in these uh, bags, I guess, if you want to call them. And I got a bunch. I just like collecting movies, physical movies. Um, so I got two, four, six more bags of DVDs. And then it's just basically additional storage here. Um, the light that we use is, uh, honestly, I don't know the brand, but we got it off of Amazon. You get three stands and three lights for, like, 50 bucks or something like that so it was worth it to get that additional lighting 
but that's all that is then over here we have some couches wooden couches that i also got from uh dalibor which uh they you know they help out a lot especially uh, it was free they're really nice made out of real wood honestly can't say more it's basically where some people hang out when they come over over here we have a makeshift stand for let's see here uh, basically for the rest of my games that goes all the way down but it's kind of in a corner and it's not the games I uh, currently play so it doesn't really matter that it's back there and then we got more shelving for more storage more empty bags of DVD or for DVD bags I drink a lot of water so sometimes I get sick of just water so I have these uh, crystallite pure things to flavor up the water and yes I do have a problem with World of Warcraft there's actually more behind these uh, I'm not proud of it but it is what it is we got some comic book trades that I'm getting back into to reading we got our PS2 here some additional keyboards and mice um, these are big we like me and Dalbor really like uh, collecting our statues we buy some collector edition games to uh, get these statues this is actually Dark Souls here Dark Souls 2 I got it for 25 bucks it was worth for the statue alone but I also got the game probably will never play the game because I know it's ridiculously hard to even get through so I probably will never play it um, this Batman is from Arkham Knight collector's edition I picked that up off of Dalbor he bought the collector's edition I really wanted a statue I have the game but I just didn't have the money for the collector's edition at the time uh, this dragon was given to me by Dalbor for my birthday I really am into dragons and then this Street Fighter here I picked up off of Amazon but I do notice that it's actually now included in a collector's edition of uh, I believe the entire collection of Street Fighter and then some more trades down here and more storage my tools down there and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the setup so this is my right here this is my uh, Cooler Master build it's got an 8350 with a 7790 2 gigabyte edition card from ASUS MSI motherboard it's not the 970 gaming it's actually a 990 FX board before they came out with their gaming series and then we have a H100 cooler on it uh, it is overclocked hmm I think that's about it but we'll put all the specs on the side here or also in the description two IANG 28 inch monitors that I've had for quite some time 1920 by 1200 resolution but it does the job it does what it needs to do uh, and this is for mainly for editing so that's why I use these two for on this computer because of the bigger resolution more real estate and stuff like that keyboard and mouse for this computer I will get a new mechanical keyboard from Logitech but currently this is the G15 and then I have the G600 uh, mouse I just love these mice uh, if I decide to game on this computer I like this for basically almost any game I play and then of course the Razer extended mouse pad we got the Sony headset transcend uh, uh, card reader I got a this is a Rosewell I believe yeah it's a Rosewell hard drive docking station uh, just allows me to put uh, hard drives that are not external hard drives and connect them still to the computer without putting them internally and then uh, USB 2.0 hub that I have right there do have some shelving down here all right so we'll go from there we'll go over here these are some uh, uh, currently these are some computers that I'm not using at the moment but they are working computers once the room switches and I get into my permanent room uh, this one will be for Dalibor when he comes over to use this one's gonna be more for one of my media computers for upstairs and then the one all the way to the left will be a server computer but I will have to change out the case but for now this is the base best spot I have on them this is just the kitchen table that fit the two monitors with the computer in the back this here is actually a uline packing table the reason I picked this up is because it was heavy duty and it holds a lot of weight and this is real maple wood and uh, but I do wish it was uh, the the leggings on it was a little different but because of the wood uh, you do need a lot of reinforcement so it doesn't kind of uh, bend I guess in the middle or anything like that so you do need a lot of support for it because it is heavy but uh, I do like I do like the table a lot but I will be getting something else when I go to my permanent setup I'll have this for Dino and um, dollar board when they come over the table is split perfectly in two for them to have one for each side for them 
and then uh, down here we do have and sorry about the lighting let's see if we can get that worked out there we go um, down here we have another cooler master case with uh, an APU from AMD I believe it's the 760k series Athlon I'm not 100% sure uh, but that's gonna be what Dino is gonna use when he comes over we got an additional monitor my printer and my 360 I don't know why that's not plugged in but I've been playing a lot more PC nowadays but I do still have a bunch of games I need to play on the Xbox 360 and the Xbox one of course this is my mug that I use this is my mug that I use on a normal occasion I'll put that here this Batman I got for my birthday from Dalborn this Superman I got for my birthday or Christmas from my wife got a little phone holder which funny enough my phone's not on there and then uh, this here is my primary gaming system that I use to stream and play games and stuff like that that we do uh, together uh, over the internet with me and Dalborn when we put up our, our gaming uh, content and also when we twitch stream uh, of course starting off let's say with the accessories I do use a extended razor mouse pad on this as well this is one of the Logitech uh, mechanical keyboards the G710 plus of course another G600 and not the best headphones but the P12 Turtle Beach headset for now it does what it needs to do and this is for some games that I prefer to play with joystick still uh, most first person games and MMOs and stuff like that I play with keyboard and mouse but this I use for like Rocket League and Batman Arkham Knight and stuff like that so it just kind of switch it up of course I got my 2DS here the monitor here is a LG 27 inch 1920 by 1080 just a standard monitor it's a um, uh, I'm gonna hate myself for this I, it's an IPS there we go it's an IPS panel almost forgot <laughs> the different panels it's an IPS panel it does what it needs to do it's good I don't have a matching set unfortunately not yet at some point I'm looking to hopefully get a triple monitor set up on this with uh, matching monitors but for now this will do this is an AOC 24 inch 1920 by 1080 monitor I don't know if this is a IPS or a TN panel but you know for an additional monitor it does what it needs to do and it's perfectly fine we already talked about the desk and this here I'm very happy with this is my um, this is something actually Dalibor also hooked me up with which was very generous of him but I always wanted the Corsair 780T case since it came out and he picked it up for me and then we got in here an 8350 it's not overclocked I don't have a cooler on it um, I just have a stock cooler actually I don't have like a liquid cooling or anything all in one system so until I get that I won't be overclocking it it does have 16 gigs of RAM 7870 XFX card a uh, bunch of hard drives once again all the specs will be on the screen uh, it does what it needs to do at some point will upgrade you know it's not the it, these aren't the greatest systems by any means they're not top-notch or anything but they do what they need to do for now until we're able to upgrade and then I've got a bunch of these uh, drawers that I store a lot of stuff in so there's one there there's one under that desk and then there's actually one back here behind all this junk and of course even though it is a temporary setup the cable management is up to par let's see here and sorry for the shaky cam but so we do have some cable management now that wire is not normally there that's just for the light so we can have some extra light in here but uh yeah cable management on that one and even on this one is nice and set up and honestly this was very easy I didn't use anything complicated double-sided sticky take for the um, surge protectors and then I use some staple guns uh, staples from a staple gun and uh, wire ties and zip ties to hold up the cables really simple but it really makes everything down here look clean not no junk underneath your feet and stuff like that so very nice but that's it guys I mean I gotta let's talk about some of the nerdy stuff that I have in here or additional nerdy stuff I guess we did mention the statues but we do have a spider-man poster here here as well this is kind of like um it's like all wood painting not painting but like a print but it's on all wood it's pretty cool 
I don't use those glasses. I'm debating if I want to. I just don't want the symbols to wash out, but I got that for Christmas. I got a bunch of little uh, Funko Pop stuff here. And actually, these are pretty cool. We found these at a GameStop. And I thought these were awesome. Bioshock ones. And then I got, uh, that's Disney Infinity Baymax, but it's pretty cool. It's just uh, kind of like a figurine. And then Deadpool, Spider-Man, Joker. Got the man cave sign. And then over here, so Loot Crate allowed us to keep the anime Loot Crate that they released. So I got the uh, Fairy Tale vinyl, which is pretty cool. I got that Joker also from a Loot Crate. This is all from Dalibor's Loot Crates, but he lets me have some of the stuff. So yeah, and these are actually all the Loot Crate stuff that he's given me. The Supernatural car, all this. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think that is it, guys. That'll do it. So that'll do it guys, thanks so much for watching, uh, sorry for the little shakiness on the camera and stuff like that, um, but yeah, that's basically it, oh and the chairs, I didn't really, they're just basic office chairs, uh, but like I said at some point, hopefully we'll be able to upgrade those, but that's it guys, thank you so much for watching the room tour, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as much as possible, like I said, it is a temporary setup, so it's nothing fancy, it's nothing crazy, but I like it, you know, it's it's good enough for what I need it for right now. And until we move rooms, this will have to do. So once again, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It does help us out. If you like the video, please do like it. And look out for more videos like this because we are working on Dalbor's move. And we're releasing a bunch of footage for that. So once again, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one.